75 year old diabetic, been active his whole life. He's 76, he was becoming. Right, this is a wonderful contrast between what we used to do and what we now are going to do. So in the old days, years ago, we had a problem on this foot. Same scenario, see this spot here? So he had an ulcer there, right? And we end up penetrating ulcer. We end up taking the toe off. Not me, someone at the hospital. You can't take off a lot of toes. He now has the same scenario. It's in, across your feet. Well, you got something in the middle here. Okay, cross your feet for me. Cross them like that. So can you? So on this foot now, you got this. What he had on that one. So isn't that interesting? Can we get a still shot, nurse? Can we get a, just with a camera? Just a still shot of that with his feet crossed for me. Just swipe. I don't have a cold on it. With the camera? Yeah, just the camera. Do so you want the camera in the picture? No, 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 from, from oh. here. You want it from right there. Okay. To see that's what this was there. We took that toe off, and this is what we're going to do today without taking the toe off. So we now, this is proof of concept that with, put it right there on the table, because we'll keep using that, don't put it in your pocket. Proof of concept that with minimally invasive surgery, you'll no longer be taking people's toes off. Once you start losing toes, the whole balance of the foot is, ru is ruined eventually. And then you keep going up the foot and we all know how that story ends. It's not a great story. So today we're, we're checking a couple of things before I come in. We saw his blood pressure is good. His blood sugars are good. We're now going to check his blood flow, okay? So what Dr. Falkinson was talking about yesterday, the key to this is this large vessel on top here, dorsalis pedis. We're going to check that before we begin, and we look at this capillary refill. One, two, three, four, five. It comes back beautifully. So I want to hear. I want to be able to hear whether he has decent blood flow or not. And I think he does, but we're going to make sure. So before you do a foot surgery on a diabetic, you want to be able to hear this fellow. Cameraman, can you hear that sound? Rolling, you can hear that? So this is a Doppler ultrasound. It's like when they look for the babies, and you can hear the baby's heartbeat. I'm looking for the, the blood vessel that supplies, that comes down, supplies your toes and the top of your foot, because this, the skin on top is more difficult than the skin on the bottom. Okay, so this is dorsalis pedis. We can hear it nice and clearly. It makes me very happy. <laughs> Okay, nice sound. Let me check one more. So uncross your feet now and turn, turn this foot this way to me. All right, you can, you can lay down, relax. We're not going to do anything to you. Okay, that's medial malleolus, and we're looking right in here again. And we get the same nice sound from him. Okay, good stuff, man. So, this foot is good to go. Although we're not working on this foot, I still want to feel, if I can feel that pulse bounding. And if you can you see, can you, you can see my fingers, Dr. De La Cruz? So you see my bounding pulse, okay? So there's a bounding pulse on both. Although we're not working on this foot today, that's still nice to know. It's palpable, but this one I want to make sure by having a Doppler, we did a sensation, so we got a neurological confirmation, he has neuropathy, uh, Doppler confirmation, he has enough blood supply. Now we do the markings on the foot where we want to go, and then we're going in there, we'll do the anesthesia. Once the anesthesia is done, we can do our markings now. Okay, so this is the toe, so I'm looking at the bony setup. That's to be one bone, that's the next bone that comes there. Okay, his metatarsal head is gonna be like that, okay? So this is the part that goes 
this one at that angle there is the force of pressure keeping this wound going. And that's the angle we wish to change. So my incision is going to be just underneath that metatarsal head. And then we're going to resect the metatarsal head, not taking it out of the capsule. The capsule is here and there. It's in a capsule and slide it up on the bone. Okay, so it doesn't come away from the bone. We go right through it and we slide it up on the bone, taking all of the pressure off of that joint permanently. And he goes home. Okay? So, we go to the next room, get his anesthesia done, and be ready to roll. So this is the future of foot and ankle surgery. I was saying yesterday, there are a million amputations a year for Asia. The most common amputation being the first ray. It's one of, one of the toes is the first thing that is always amputated in the diabetic doctor, right? And once that, once that toe goes, then you know, and the sequence always follows, the others come, and so it's imperative that we do stuff where you do not have to amputate toes. Now the beauty of our patients, a lot of them are profoundly neuropathic, so this is a little easier technique. Spray anyway for inflammation, a little bit there and there. So we're doing the two nerve trunks that come into the foot. Good. <coughs> that pull back on that a little bit. Another blood vessel going right through, right into the bottom. Do you feel that? What are you feeling there? You feel that? What do you feel? You feel a little pressure. Okay. Any pain? No. No pain. Okay, so we're underneath the metatarsal, right beside the joint, coming out on that side, and then we'll put a little bit where we want to do our incision. And I'm going to leave that there. So if you want to do the... Oh, give me a, a, a straight artery force. You put this, you jerk this in kind of tight. Way. So I want to open this. Oh, I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take a picture. So we'll see where that instrument is relative to the joint I want to go in. Let's do the x-ray for me. Good. Okay. So that spot is where I'm intending to go. I'm going to slide this right in here now. Come right to him. About there. Dunk. Let's see. All right, that might do it. Shooting. Good. So you want to take a picture of that? I don't know if you can get that. And now we see where we are. You see the bump on the bone. Okay, that's where the ulcer is right beneath the bump. And then right where I have my marker, that's where we're going. Okay? We're in business. Uh, getting us Dachshund with the phone. Let's take one still picture. Um, I'm, I can use my needle today instead of, instead of that back and forth. And needle sterile, you know, when, once they introduce that thing, I show you how clean it is. Can I get a picture from the uh, camera? You walk right through here. See if you can catch Felicia and me, and I'll just show. Catch a little bit of his foot on the machine. You got to go to the door. Is that good? Can you see that? Ready? Yeah. Come a little closer. Or well, you can start flashing now. You know, this is our cup, man. When you put stuff to it for too, too close for too long. Got him? Perfect. Be ready to roll. So let's spray. And you can slide that back. You want to turn the machine off or on? Yeah, that's your machine. You know what to do with it. Okay, Raleigh. Be ready to roll, man. Okay, slide. You want to bend that to you or how you going to bend it? Or you want to go that way? Okay. Bam. Be ready to roll, man. Okay. So we take this out now. So that's my spot where I did that incision. So now I'm going to just take this right away. 
and it comes right out. Boom. Okay, clean up. We'll be right back, and we're out of there. Shops. Hand towel. Alicia, for the camera, you're going to have to turn that the flashing part of the machine off in the back. No problem. I'll turn it down. Yeah. We got him nice angle. You're ready to go. I want to debride him first, too, if I can get a number 10 blade. Ready, seven and a half. And a little, and one more wipe of the little hands there. Magnifico. Everything's there. All right. Are you ready? We're going to begin. You're going to feel me moving around, but you won't feel any pain at all, okay? We're very proud of you. Your blood sugars are good. Your blood pressure is good. So you've been taking care of yourself. I know you're retired now, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take good care of yourself, man, because you got a lot of life left in you. And you need these feet. You know, you ain't used to being living and you, you ain't got no foot, you can't go nowhere. That, that kind of spoils it a little bit, eh? Can't just, can't just nope. <laughs> can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. Sir, mind if I Sure. Yeah, come around. You, you, you move around as you see fit. Yeah. <laughs> what you should do, please, just get him a yellow gown. And we can, get, we can give you a gown to put on so you don't have... Um, all right, so that's one for him. Boom. And how do I do this? Open that way or this way? I'll come in this way. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of the instrument tray that Felicia has so beautifully done for her. I'll move them up a little bit. So these, these feet have taken some, they've been on the, on the hard road, you know. He's been working his whole life. Great, great man. He's done all, everything right. And now we're going to try to take care of him, see if we can get this right today. Okay. You 
good, yeah. Okay, so that's the angle we're coming at. For the next one, I, I do have a, a headpiece with a light on it. Maybe I'll wear that and I'll try that for Mr. Smith. So that's our angle. Boom, we're going in the bone. I'm going to slide the bone up. So the bone is what's penetrating through this wound. And we, you dress these and dress these and dress these, man. And ain't nothing happening. You know, and the patient begins to think, I wonder if these people know what they're doing because the dressing room taking over my life. And what a proof of concept now for us is we go in here and take all of this dead skin away and decompress the wound not externally, but internally. Okay, so we're changing the dynamic of the wound from the inside. And this is based on his pressure gradient because the fifth metatarsal head is penetrating. It's coming through this, this wound. It's coming through it, literally coming through. Mm -hmm. but when people do have to lose a limb, it's normally because of something we call osteomyelitis. What does that mean? It means the stage of the ulcer has gotten so severe that the ulcer has gone to the level of bone. And the bone gets infected. As you well know, the bony tissue is hollow in the middle. So when bone gets infected, we have to start taking out the bones. Well, you know, there's only so much you could take out of a foot and it doesn't make sense anymore. So that's what the base of the wound will look like now. And I'm now going to go inside here. These are some very clever blades we use now. Give me a 64. It's a 64 MIS blade. And these are tiny, tiny blades because I'm going in between the blood vessels and the nerves and right down to the level of the joint. And all of this work will be done inside the joint. Okay, so we're going inside the capsule now. That's a really interesting work. If you take a look at that picture there, we're going in the middle, see the blue parts of the joints that come around? We're going in the middle of that capsule, just from the left side of the fifth toe coming right in we're going to slide across the bone, lift the head of the metatarsal up, and come out of the joint. Here we go. Okay, so we saw where our pinhole was, where we did our, the thing on the x-ray. So we know for sure we're right there. We know that's the bone, we know that's the ulcer. So the pressure, this bone should be sitting straight and right. Instead, you can see it goes like this and like that, like this and like that. So we're taking the pressure away from this wound now. That is, that's the bone right there and right here. It's coming right through the joint. And we don't want that. So there we go. Just right on the side there, you see it poking up. And bam, I'm in the joint, just like that. Get in the joint, can you hear that? Dink, dink, dink. Boom. Okay, you're in the joint. Now the joint of the human body are like coconuts. You picture a coconut has a capsule inside, right? You know that? So I'm in the coconut, appendage going past one part into the other. Okay, that's the size of the blade. That's the size of the wound. Now Felicia's gonna line me up with my burr. Okay, so we're in the joint. That's the angle we're going at. The angle of attack here is very important because I know the bone comes like this and I'm wanting the bone to sit straight. Yeah. That's a good angle. That's a good spot you're at. That's a great spot, actually. That's good. You'll, you'll be able to catch it from right there. Okay. Dee, 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 dee. So Raleigh, no, no, ain't, no, ain't no junk or no this year, man. What you doing for, <laughs> what you gonna do for Christmas? Yeah. 
<laughs> all, all of us got to figure out, you know, boy, you know, no junk in the world. I, I ain't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, I literally don't know what in the world to do with myself now. I, I never thought I would see that. You know, that's a, that's, that's a new one for me. You know? No. Well, the, you know, the trick is, remember, Christmas was just for us. I think we got, we got to get back to that. You know, this, this thing celebrating stuff for other people. I know that's what we should be doing. Your culture is yours. If other people want to come and enjoy it, so be it. But really, that should be... Yeah, that should be uh, your exclusive domain. Oh, Felice, you've done a great job with these burrs today. Thank you. We found the heads, the, the white burrs. I don't know how you all find it. So Felicia joined us a couple of years ago, and she's really caught on so beautifully. I don't know what to tell her. Well done. So with MIS surgery, you don't have to worry about blood loss. That's what you're going to get. We're in the joint. This burr now is an oscillating bone file. It's an OSADA drill. It goes inside the joint. And you, I use it just like with a, a pen. So I'm gonna, now going to draw what I around this joint a little bit. Right? And in the joint again. And I'm on that spot. You can see that. See the joint popping up. Okay. And I'm going underneath. Hear that sound? I'm on the, on the money. Okay. Do you feel anything there? No. And here we go. We're in the joint. I'm going right across that base. You see that stuff is looks very strange from one cortex to the other. There's no rush. This creates a very fine-tuned cut. It's, it's low torque, um, very high precision tool. And I can feel, I'm feeling on both sides of it, so I know when I'm getting to the other side. Then I'll come out and make my precise cut. Okay. Good stuff. One more there. Fantastic. Yeah, I never thought I'd see a Christmas without junk in the world. But we are now. Okay, and so we're coming right through the bottom of the bone, still in the joint capsule. Hear that sound now, right in the joint capsule. And this will just click when I get through. I can, I can see the change in the mat head already. And we're through. So now I just want to go to the top. Sound, hear that sound. Yeah, that's when it's cutting bone. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, in the old days, to do this, we had to open the foot. And no one wants to open a diabetic foot, obviously. But with this precision tool now, you don't have to open it. You do it in the joint, it's like arthroscopic surgery. We've done our markers, you know exactly where you are. It's not a problem. I'm shaving, a little bit of going off as I'm going through. I know exactly where we are, where we should be, and we're almost done. Picture. Ding! You hear that? Ding! And guess what happens? So watch this now. So as I shave that stuff, that's the burn. It's clean. So out of there now. I'm in the joint. So I'm not worried about hitting the stuff anywhere. I'm not going wrong. No dings. No trouble. No headache. And this is bone paste that's going to come out. Okay? That's, that's bone paste. 
Now this, this is one of the reasons it heals so well. So now the joint is no longer plantar flexed. It's going to be level like that, okay? And the bone paste is going to enhance the healing because bone paste has, guess what in it? Stem cells. It's his own stem cells. Boy, that's good stuff, okay? Yeah, that's good stuff. Let's take the picture. Let's see what we got. If that's the case, and I think we should be good. And he's up and out. That's the amount of bone loss. That's the problem. And that's the solution. Roy, I'm done. And your foot's still there, man. So patients don't want to see it while you're doing it, but boy, they like to look to make sure everything is there. So you can now see that, that thing that used to poke out. I can now push that right over, and it's flat. So remember, cameraman, where you catch that angle, where that was sticking out? That is now flat. Where it was sticking in the bottom, it's now flat. All right? Try not to wiggle your toes. Everyone won't wiggle their toes. Wait till she finished taking the picture. Then you can wiggle as much as you like. You gotta bring him down a little bit. Or you just let him put his foot on it. Okay? So this is gonna come to you, follow her instructions, and she's gonna tell you to put your foot over and down. Here we go. Bring your foot over. Put it down, flat on this object. Down, rest the foot down. Are we going to come this way? This way, no, to you all. Right. You gotta tilt it to him. Right. And then let the bed down. Shooting. Bingo, jingo. Jana. So you can see now the line straight across there. Can you see that? Come around, doctor. So you can see that. Fifth metatarsal head. See the line? Mm -hmm. That's our osteotomy through and through. Mm -hmm. See it, Rolly? Bam. We jamming, brother. Let's stitch. Put you in a shoe. You're out of here. Wasn't that good? No. Yay! Put your foot back up for me now. Okay. All right, back up. Boom, right in the middle. Right, rest right down. You're good. And you'll slide that out. Okay. So having the advantage of a C-arm in office is great. Um, so this is a decompression of that joint. Bone completely slid over. Everything is fine underneath, it's beautiful, no problems whatsoever. Clean this up. One stitch, he heads home. In two weeks, this will be healed, completely healed. Okay, so this has been going on, this one wound here for one year, and now we're done with that. Suture, right here, All right, scissors. Done. What do you think, Rolly? It was all right? You good? Good, man. Thank you for letting us do your work. It's a pleasure and an honor to treat someone like you who's done so much for other people. So one stitch, boom, right into the joint, right around, nice closure, little dab, and we got it. You still, you, 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 you still waiting to see if you could feel something. Eh? <laughs> he, he keep wiggling his toes and waiting for us to put an out. You're not going to feel anything, man. That's it. Ding. Ding. That's it. Dressing. Real bhakti. Gra. 
Nine more swab down. That's it. That's the blood loss. Okay. Major osteotomy. 70 something year old diabetic. And that's what we should be doing. That's the new hope, doctor, for the diabetic foot. So on the other foot, they cut the toe off. On this foot, saved everything. Okay, and this is gonna heal beautifully. Well, I don't have the clinic no more. Nope. Okay. You come here uh, next, next week. Next, next two weeks. No, they'll see you next week. You have to change the dressing. You need a couple, you just have to change this twice. I'll come next week to change the dressing. Correct. And then, Any day, right? No, they can give you a day. Monday. They, they, will, they will give you the correct day. Don't okay. do the any day routine on one. Oh, that is Capone for me. One more, Rafi mm -hmm. Graf, please. See, we play for the body. Beautiful. Yeah. To give you the time up front. Yeah, you take the time up front. Okay. One nice wrap around for this fella. No, my daughter won't see more. We come to Atlanta for the. Christmas. You'll, you'll be ready to go to Atlanta for Christmas, man. Okay, no. Absolutely. Today is the uh, 13th of November. Mm -hmm. you'll, be, you'll be ready for Atlanta for Christmas. We would not deny you that or your family. That's a, that's a wonderful thing to look forward to. Yeah. You know, that, that, that makes life worthwhile. And Atlanta should be very nice. Now you got to watch out. They got a lot of, they got the, the high COVID rate over there, higher than here. So. Be careful, wrap yourself up, do all the stuff you know you gotta do. Don't take any chances and en enjoy your family. Okay, I like to show everyone, I like to put a diamond on the bottom of the foot every time I do one of these procedures because I really think that's our protective measure. And we treat these feet like gold. So it's very, uh, hold the bottom out for me please, Felicia. Put your finger right there. Good. Everything will stay in its proper place. Well, I got all this to behave in one spot. There we go. One. Good. Two. Got it. Uh, we have a post-op shoe his size. Raise the foot up a little bit for me. Good. I do a little dab underneath here. Clean that stuff off. So I only place your end up having a little stuff left over. Boom. Didin didin. see the tip of the toe, so if there are any changes in that toe. So I'm doctor, I'm looking for that capillary refill now. So watch this. So the toe goes white, very, very blanched. I let it go. One, two, three. Bingo. I'm out of here. Soft roll. So if that capillary refill is under five seconds, we know we're dealing with a competent uh, incision. But all toes, before you wrap, Make sure that capillary refill is ticking. It ain't no fancy machine. You need good sense, All right? And for me, I like to see, I like to be able to see it. I like to hide it, just in case. So you're still dealing with high risk limbs, and we like to make sure. And dressing this the dorsalis pedis runs through the middle here, so I like this to be loose in the front there. I want that loose in the front. I don't mind. Anywhere else it could be a little tighter, but I want to loose in the front. I'll leave that open even, just to make sure nothing's going on. There's a fellow who thinks he's Superman, so you better be a little careful with him. All our patients think they're Superman, so I pad him out. Okay? 
So like a back slab cast, they often leave this space in here kind of loose. What color would you like? Green, red, blue, purple, pink. She done got you three. Kazan. Any questions for us, sir? Any questions for us? Apart from your Atlanta extravaganza coming up soon? You sure? Nothing else? No? Okay. No problem. Once again, nice and loose. Raise your leg up for me. There uh, you go. Mm -hmm. Around, still loose on the top there. Make sure it's not too tight. Gonna be a little snug around here. Go back up. Down, put your foot down again, and cut right there. So once again on top here, um, I don't use any tape. We use this soft roll, so if he feels it tight in the night or he feels the foot swells up, you can just tell him grab it and open it. Grab it and open it. The vessel that supplies there is on top there. Uh, the posterior tibial vessel is not occluded at all. We leave that and make sure there's nothing going on in the back here. Our salad's key is nice and loose, and if we need to send him a message in the evening, he said, oh, my foot's swelling, oh, I feel something, whatever, you take that, open it, sticks to itself. You good? Honorable. Honorable. <laughs> Authorize that, Roddy. Good man. Boom, you can't shake hands, think you see. But that's just lay down, you're fine. Don't go nowhere. <laughs>